Hello everybody and welcome to Level 1 Gaming. I am Johnny. Uh, you may recognize me from the Starcross Gamers podcast here. And today I'm here to tell you about Shiro Games' newest title, War Tale. Now, of course, Shiro Games is well known and respected for games such as Northgard, as well as their Evoland series, and now they're back with another addicting title. War Tales is an open world RPG with turn based combat. Explore a land of strife and plague as a wandering band of warriors with a story impacted by your decisions. Now first, I would just like to address the visuals of the game, and let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, they do not disappoint. Throughout my travels, I was constantly impressed with how good the game looked. Whether it be the trees in the forest, or the nice mountains in the distance, everything just looked very realistic, and I was constantly impressed. When it came to my characters, as well as the opponents I was facing, I couldn't help but think of just how realistic their armors and weapons looked. It wouldn't surprise me in the least if you had told me that the weapons and armors used in the game came straight from a museum. And let me just also say that the sight of our company just sitting around the fire, you know, waiting for a nice warm meal and maybe to get paid, depending on when you're camping, it just looked really cool because, you know, I can imagine me sitting there camping with my friends and stuff, just hanging out and just, wow looked very cool and let us now move on to the audio and boy let me tell you that the soundtrack for war tales is superb it is one of those games where you don't necessarily have music blaring at you all the time but when it does it sure makes its presence known it is very reminiscent of games that also borrow from the like medieval-esque time period, so games such as The Elder Scrolls IV, Oblivion, or perhaps Kingdom Come Deliverance instantly jump to mind. However, if you played any game in this rough time period or setting, then I think you know what I'm talking about here, where it is very authentic. You know, the instruments used, the uh, it was just very well done. Whether it was swords clashing, the armor rattling around as your character moved, or the knocking and loosing of an arrow from a bow, everything just sounded the way it should. Now let's talk about the story. The world we find ourselves in is riddled with conflict and disease, so it's up to you to make your own way through the world, and the way you do that is by transversing the different regions. Now each region has its own separate story, with each region's main quest having you do different tasks throughout the region. Something I noticed throughout my play is that the side quests were very different, which was a very good thing in my opinion, because you don't want the same side quest, which is something that happens in a lot of different games out there, where they are very repetitive, or they hit the same notes. Thankfully, in War Tales, that is not the case. Every side quest is different, and no two side quests are telling the same story. Now, like I said at the beginning, your choices matter. The story of the starving region has to do with refugees fleeing across the border due to a war devastating their land. The locals, however, are not too keen on them coming here. What happens to the refugees are up to you. The game lets you attack roaming refugee bands to take what little they have left. Alternatively, you could attack mobs of locals that do the very same thing. It all comes to a head when you find an impromptu settlement of refugees. You can choose to help the leader, or betray him as early as the first quest he gives you. Each region will have a problem for you to solve, and who lives and dies in this hazarded world is up for you to decide. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, gameplay. There are a few starts you can begin your journey with, all of them giving you different starting gear and character classes. I chose to play as a group of aspiring farmers, looking for an alternative to breaking their backs with little to show for it. Instead, they get to break other people's backs for handsome sums of gold and valuable loot. Each party member needs to be fed and paid their wages. If you've played a game from the Mountain Blade series, this will be familiar to you. The party has an overall stamina bar that gradually drains as you wander the world or after combat. Cook up a meal and have a rest, and they're good to go again. There are plenty of things to do outside of getting into a scrape. Each character has a side role. 
This could be something like a fisherman, a blacksmith, a miner, or even something more devious like a thief. As they partake in their chosen roles, they upgrade in rank. Think of lockpicking from the Elder Scrolls, when you can go from a journeyman lock to an adept lock based upon how many times you've broken in somewhere. In crafting roles, as well as at the end of quests and battles, you earn XP towards your next knowledge point. Knowledge points allow you to unlock certain crafting recipes for a few of the roles, as well as abilities that affect your company. This can vary from reduced wages each week, or giving the crew the ability to run across the world map at exchange for faster stamina drain. You'll never run out of things to unlock. I certainly didn't. With all that out of the way, how do I really feel about the game? Overall, this game is absolutely brilliant. The only real negative thing I can report from my time with the game is the number of bugs I ran into. However, I'm happy to report that Shiro Games has been monitoring bugs and feedback very closely. Bugs were being found and patched the day after. Now that's real dedication. This shows me that they really care about our experience as players, and from this player's perspective, it has been a very positive one. War Tales will be coming to early access on Steam December 1st, 2021, with a price not yet set. I highly recommend everyone into RPGs and strategy games to pick up a copy and try this game out for yourself. As always, thank you to everybody who stopped to listen. Be sure to hit a subscribe if you haven't already done so, and be sure to leave this video a like. Of course, I have a written review over at Level 1 Gaming. I recommend everybody go check that out. In addition to that, please check out everybody's work over at Level 1 Gaming. We do some incredible stuff, whether it be other reviews for different games, a whole week's load of podcasting or in other entertainment. Be sure to check out all of our stuff here on YouTube. And of course, be sure to get all of your gaming news here at Level 1 Gaming. I have been Johnny. Thank you very much for stopping by, and I appreciate you. And be sure to tune in for next time. Goodbye.